Hi, I'm Austin, and today I'm going to share a quick tip on how to use a cool feature in Merchant Center's rules that I often find helpful for fixing or adding data to my product titles. So I'll start just by pointing out where to find more information. So if you go to Google's um, Merchant Center help guide, or if you simply Google Merchant Center help setup feed rules, you can find um, the article that I'm using is help for myself to learn this and refer to that while you're troubleshooting your own feed issues. But what I'll do today is demonstrate how to use the, uh, let me find it here. I'm going to demonstrate how to use this split and choose feature, which is a really powerful feature actually that I don't, I never used actually over the past several years I've been doing this, uh, until recently. So. To give an example of a use case, I have my sample store, so I'm using this t-shirt. And let's say I want to include something in my product title like the fabric weight. So it's not a feed, it's not a field in my feed, but I can make it one by pulling out the any instance of fabric weight followed by some number followed by O, Z for ounce. So this is great because if you have, say, products that have multiple weights, or in my example, if I had products that had multiple weights, I could pull out whatever's between these two words and then insert that into the feed and then take that and then insert it into the product title or somewhere else in the feed just to enhance the data. So for example, what I want to do is take this and add... Um, fabric weight 4.2 ounces to the feed product title. And of course you could do this with things like, um, fabric material. If you had, for example, cotton, or you could just add something like 100% cotton to the product title to enhance it in your merchant center feed. So I'm going to use this example of fabric weight. And I've already got this mostly set up. So I'll come back into Merchant Center. And what I'm going to do, and what I've already done for the sake of example, is I've made a custom attribute, which I'll reference this in the description below. But there is an article on how to set up custom attributes in Merchant Center using rules. And this is what I've done here. So let me just point out what I've done. So I took... What I did is I, whoops, let me jump back. I used the plus button to create a new attribute and I just called it fabric weight. And once I made that in the next screen that I'll show you in a moment, I set it to, I set the fabric weight to the description because I'm pulling this data out of the description so I set the fabric weight to the description, but then I extracted what I wanted from the description. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to create a new one so that I can walk you through the entire process and I'll just call it fabric weight two. And so I'll set it to the description and then I'll just hit okay. And sometimes this, won't work, you'll see just blank data in here. And so you'll have to hit save as draft and then come back into the attribute that you just made. Today it's working correctly. So I don't have anything blank. I have what I wanted. I've got the description. So now the way to access that uh, split feature is in the modifications. So let's see, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to do add modification and then under advanced options, go over to split and choose and I'm going to move my camera so that I don't cover this up. So I'll split this description into multiple values. It'll make sense once I've done this once. So I'm going to split it into multiple, val multiple values and the separator will be fabric weight semicolon. I've typed that in as a custom separator, so I have to click it at the top. And then what I'm going to do is choose the first part, or actually I want to choose the last 
part of what I've split. So it will make sense once I point this out. Okay, see, so I've split the description. I've split it into two parts and I've split it on this string, fabric weight, and then the semicolon. And so now I have the second half of what I've split into two pieces. I have everything following fabric weight, colon, space. I've got that here. And now what I want, I just want that 4.2 ounce. And so I can split this again. So I'll do add modification, advanced, split and choose, split into multiple values. Separator will be OZ. I'll click that, split some values. So I just want the first part again, um, because what I've done is I've split this into two sections. It's split on the word ounce. And so the first section, whoops, if I split this into two sections on the word ounce or the abbreviation ounce, then I have this section, which is the first and this section, which is the second. And that's why in here I'm choosing node one. I could choose node actually, actually I could choose last and hit okay. And then I'll show you what I have now, which is everything after the word ounce, because now though I've split it on the word ounce, like I did before, I'm taking the last piece. All right. And so now I'll come back in here and set this back to node one. And now I have 4.2. All right, perfect. So what I want to do though, is I want to add fabric weight and ounce back into this. So I'll do another modification and I'll prepend fabric. Eight. space, and click that, hit OK. So now I have fabric weight 4.2 and I'll add one more modification to add ounce back into that. So I'm gonna append and I'll just type out space OZ, tick that. Okay, now I've got what I want, fabric weight. So you can see that this is a powerful way to separate data out of your description. So as a more complicated example, I could, for example, pull out the size here, which I don't need to do because that's already set as a field, but that's just another example of how you could repeatedly split pieces of data out of your description. So I might show that as an example last. Let me get through this example first. So I'll sit, I'll hit save as draft. So now I have my custom attribute fabric weight two, and I have my title and you can see I've already done this before recording. I just simply appended that custom label to the end of the product title. So you can see here that in this modification, I just did append again, but instead of appending a custom word, I appended a space that's a little space there. And then the custom attribute fabric weight. All right, so I hope you found that helpful. If you have any questions, you can refer to this setup custom attribute to use in feed rules guide that's provided in Merchant Center's help documentation. Or if you can't figure it out still after reading through this, feel free to leave a question in the comment section below and I'll try to answer it as best as I can. So, all right, thank you for watching. Hope you found this helpful.